of the blue corner. Wearing red. And found early. Coach Freddy Rhodes muling riris ba kay former WBC champion Ray Vargas sa pamamagita kay current WBC champion Mark Magsayo? Hindi lang po si Mark Magsayo ang alaga ni Coach Freddy Rhodes na lumaban kay Ray Vargas ng Mexico. Dahil bago pa man hawakan ni Coach Freddy Rhodes itong si Magsayo, ay may unang alaga ito na lumaban at nakipagbasaga ng muka kay Ray Vargas. Alam natin na magaling na coach itong si Freddy Rhodes at marami na rin itong mga alaga na naging ganap na world champion. Isa na nga nito ang ating pangbansang kamao, Manny Pacquiao. Taong 2018, napalaban nga ang isang alaga ni Coach Freddy Rhodes sa isang world title fight laban kay Ray Vargas. Itong Armenian na si Asat Hubanisian. Bago pa man nakalaban nito si Ray Vargas, ay may ring record itong 14 wins, 2 loses and 11 knockout, may edad na 29 years old. Hindi rin basta-basta ang lakas nitong Armin yan. Nasa huling laban nito ay knockout ang inabot ng isang American boxer na si Ronnie Rios. Nanuoy na kalaban na rin si Ray Vargas. Nasa kanilang laban ay isa itong title eliminator para sa hinahawakang belt ni Ray Vargas ang WBC Super Bantamoy title. He's uh, blocking those right hands now. So he wants to give him a different look so then Ronnie Rios could drop his hands and then he can land those effective right hands again. Trying to take him out of his game plan. This is covered up. Ronnie hits him. See so how he's dipping down? He's getting caught with those right hands because he's dipping down right in front of him. You can't dip down right in front of him. If you're playing on dipping down, the record joins up, but it's, it's home. Yeah, it's home, but they're already... Oh, up there, there it is! Three! Look at him! Come on, man. You got to protect yourself. Yes, sir. You got to protect yourself. Hold the knees in like a pit bull jumping in. Crazy A is looking for the end of this fight. Rios trying to survive the round. A lot of time left in the six. Rios' hands are heavy. That left hand is just standing up with all heart. Rios telling him to protect yourself. And that is it. It is over. Los tragos amargos jamming inside those seafair. fair. May 12, 2018, ang araw kung saan lalaban itong alaga ni Coach Freddy Rhodes laban kay Ray Vargas na ang kanilang laban ay ginanap sa New York, USA. Ito ang pangatlong dipinsa ni Vargas sa kanyang belt na hinahawakan. Bago ang laban ay ito muna ang kanilang ring record. Itong si Vargas ay may malinis na ring record na 31 wins ang 22 knockout. Samantala naman itong alaga ni Coach Freddy Rhodes ay may ring record na 14 wins, 2 losses and 11 knockout. Former WBC Continentals America Super Bantamweight Champion. Ito sana ang alaga ni Coach Freddy Rhodes na puputol sa bagiging undefeated nitong Mexican Champion. Kasing tangkad lang rin ito ni Mark Magsayo. At ito nga po ang naging game plan ni Coach Freddy Rhodes para kay WBC Champion Ray Vargas. It can sometimes time a skillful from the outside with power shots. He's done a great try for a hard right hand by Hovindicio. Another try for a hard right hand. Vargas fires back to took to the body momentarily stopped Hovindicio's momentum. Oh, and he hurts. Low hard puncher gets into the ring. He's Mexican. And that was a good body shot. Right? I think the smaller guy with the shorter arms he needs to get inside. And usually, sometimes the price he has to pay to get in there. Early in the fight, and sometimes he's better. Hovindicio found early. Oh. In the just like that. Called Vargas. Vargas with his knee. You see the difference there. When Hovinesian timed him and caught him with one. I love it. You've seen the potential for what Hovinesian can do. Can time it. The brawling. Watch see it. when he gets in there and tries to do that. Little early in the fight for that. We well, have to get in and do that. He type of fight he wants to make it. Make Vargas trades to that nickname Crazy A. Clearly that was Hovinesian's game. Regardless of how it may look, plow forward. He's getting beaten up on the outside. I know it's counterintuitive, but early is what's been saving him. Good shot by Paul. Brilliant right hand down the pipe. But expects to get hit. It's at the end of that mix. Event. There's another test. I'm just not sure it's yet. Well, as long as he does it before he loses, his game. if he can't take it like that, then he got problems. I've seen several Ray Vargas easily to threaten him. Hovani is so aggressive and doesn't care what's coming. What Vargas is throwing at him. Gets nailed with another right hand. Boy, Hovanesian really good with both hands timing him from the outside. Gets back up. Thinking to himself perhaps. 
Vargas is not jabbing the stand before he took a jab. This fight is a throwback to the classic. This has this has turned out that way. If there's the turn off, the hyper aggression. Uh, Ovenicia is just as crazy. Fight. And one guy, the other guy is getting countered with the same kind of knockout shots. And oh, good uppercut by Ray Bunk. What he has to do is keep his head down while he's punching. You know? Vargas going to the body may be a good idea here. As long as he doesn't get caught, watch out while he's trying to go to the body, being 5'10". He looks just a little bit taken back by the angles at which Ovenician throws. Good left hand work by Vargas there. One 29 out punch, but it runs, you know, I thought he won rounds two or three. Thank you, Jim. I agree with that. Vargas seems to be studying himself. He's throwing some really big shots over the top. So if he gets caught between one of his, it could be devastating for him. Yeah, another aspect of this fight is that the body's down, and it seemed to kind of turn the tide of the fight. You're right, Roy, he's vulnerable to a knockout shot upstairs. Body, body. Right-handed, inside, outside. The line. The big right hand in the first round, that rock free succeeding round to Vargas, tying his better time he can land a punch, I mean a fight ending punch, just like that one he landed in the first round. Pressure, counter puncher, using Vargas' ninja times against Vargas's punches. That's what, and take the risk of getting caught with a fight in. Oh, the right hand is dead like that. Punching will stay off of him, don't give him your weight responsible but they're punishing offensive and Vargas is a punishing offense Beristein to be Vargas's game and a little taller 122 wow good it's a totally illogical body. oh that was yeah. and there was a look of panic on the face of Ray Bone with those shots and they're devastating counters yeah if you can catch him as he's leaping in Nisian. Oh, that was another, get a close up. another left hook. That was there. Another, another left hook. That's and Vargas is trying to pull away from the left hook. That's when he gets hit with those compact hooks. That was chanting for Hovanesia. As a... <laughs> ...friendly fight. In the morning on TV, like Hovanesia, because they do wrong. That there's no way a fighter of his lesser quality... A ...series of one-off events. Ability to attract the following is fighter's greatness. Combination by Ray. Good body. But, boy, I tell you, these rounds mostly power punches. And to this moment, Vargas is seen by CompuBox landing on. I had to think that correctly. Um, a smaller, tough guy who can pull out a fight like this against the class here. He can rise up from anonymity in the wild card gym to the point where he Ding, ding, ding. That's the key, Jim. And I think Kovanesian may turn out to be the same guy. He's taking a round off. A little of fatigue. I think fatigue is starting to set in just a little on Hovanesian. And he's bigger, and he's the better, and it's replaced by a better one, I think. Far more competitive, or so it would seem. Hovind got to almost everything else is a big swing. Eddie Roach, Roy, I would want him to throw more to the body rather than... And I don't think his power is what it was early. Now comes, I think, early on, I said I liked him. We're at the point in the fight where he has to start thinking about getting in his chest and staying there. That he had in the previous six rounds. And, and just stay down to the body when you get in there. The champion, and he's not going to give it up that easy. Vargas has taken the shots upstairs. Take those shots, and that happens downstairs. That's exactly more to the body. Well, because he needs to be able to see that right hand, like that right hand. There's the body shot. That body. Not. This good body shot by Vargas. Tries to right hand over the top, Jim. Which is what right now because with that cut. Oh. Nisian does a lot of counterintuitive stuff. The track of how fatigued they are, Max. If somebody goes down, they in with a left hand. But these don't, these don't. Both of them. Who's going to be the body puncher in the combination to the ribs a moment ago? Just shows you he's remembered. Yep. Right there. If someone can turn it up here. Oh, where? Yeah. Hand by Vargas. Oh, good, good body shot. Hard hand body shot. For sign, he was hurt. Four body shots.
Just stays down there, he can score that knockdown. Vargas. Ovenesian pounding. It's an interesting round. Vargas seems a little lethargic. In the Ray Vargas. Chip, I gotta tell you, Ray Vargas has got a big spy ahead, but in round eight. Should the fight be... He's not gonna win the fight on a TKO because of that cut eye. Vargas. After Andre talked about around Jim's Roy, all over the place. Look, you would think other fighters would imitate him. Knockdown in the last round with body shots. Seems like he's... At the moment when he feels danger from Hovanesian, the look in Hovanesian's eyes is that of a fighter and his desire. He put, you know, with heart and the ability to... I'm not so Beristein. Beristein to train Ray Vargas and a career because Vargas's father is his friend. in a fight like this because he may get taken to a... Curtis pulls no punches and tells Saddam... Mentioned in the, on the top, an extra special given the Styles matchup in this fight and the skills of feels like Hovanesian is going to have to do something big. Trying as hard as he can to land on those big shots. Just that Vargas continues. A part of it is Vargas has an excellent shit. of it is Hovanesian has yet to connect at the perfect arc of the punch or on Vargas's chin. Hovenesian's landed a fair number of good shots. And Hovenesian doesn't care nothing about Vargas. He walked into the wild card gym just looking. Good body shot. So he wants him to get close to the Hovenesian fight. Of course. I don't see Vargas fight. He's... Boy, when you're going into a fight against a guy like this, concentration a little bit. No, it doesn't bother concentration. You just try to make sure that he doesn't book advantage of it here. <laughs> Ovenesian gets in a left hand. Didn't have a lot of steam on it. Attack. It still was involved as well, so he'll feel it tomorrow too. So both guys have a headache. Yeah, and he'll feel it tomorrow. Oh, good oh. shot. That's one of the best shots of the fight, I think. Yeah, it was. And Hoven off. He said, "I can't catch him." <laughs> By this dangerous 12th round. Hovenesian is proven tonight, no matter the outcome. He's a very unconventional brawler. And with takes heart and will. Barber really followed the instruction from Beristein to get in close and stir Hovenesian. Nahalo man ang alaga ni Coach Freddy Roach, pero duguan naman ang pagmumuka nitong si Ray Vargas. At kita natin sa laban na talagang ginagamit ni Ray Vargas ang kanyang reach advantage na hirap ngang makapasok itong Armenian. Pero iba pa rin ang pinakita nitong tapang at ang pagpresyon nito kay Ray Vargas kung saan nga ay duguan ng dalawang boksingero. Kaya mataas ang kumpiyansa natin na kayang kaya ni magsayo ang laban nito kay Ray Vargas lalong-lalo na dahil napag-aralan na ni Coach Prideroch ang kalawan nitong si Ray Vargas na panigurado sa laban nito kay Magsayo ay gagamitin nito ang kanyang reach advantage na hit and run ang galawan nito sa panahong magharap na sila ni Mark Magsayo. So yan lang muna ang ating video sa ngayon mga kabusing. Maraming salamat po.